closed modern hospital institutions in South Texas in the early 1920s. 60 years later, it was demolished, but a part of that hospital still lives, not just in the memories of residents, but in a chapel. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back. It all started at the turn of the 20th century as an old charity home opened by Nora Kelly, daughter of prominent Captain William Kelly, which was considered the first hospital in Brownsville. There was nothing like what we have nowadays. Uh, it was uh, nothing more than like a barracks in Fort Brown, and it was over on uh, Madison and 6th. Kelly eventually arranged for the Sisters of Mercy, a nursing order out of San Antonio, to settle in and care for the sick in Brownsville in 1917. At this time, the only medical assistance available was through local doctors who made house calls. In 1923, the modern-day Mercy Hospital was finally built, and years later, in 1936, a full-size chapel and convent for the nuns was built. And it was a state-of-the-art uh, hospital for the times. It cost something like $90,000. It was unheard of. And it served the entire Rio Grande Valley. Although the Mercy Hospital was demolished in the 1980s, the Hermino and Francisca de Ituria Chapel miraculously still stands right outside of Valley Baptist Hospital in Brownsville, thanks to the efforts of local concerned citizens, including Sandra Sweeney, Larry Loff, and Lita Ortiz, who mobilized to save the sacred building. Building. This little chapel survived the wrecking ball by about that much. Where visitors gathered to worship in the chapel with its original windows and pews from 1936 and where residents can think back of pleasant memories associated with Mercy Hospital. This represents to a lot of people throughout the valley a touch with the past. So many people were born in Mercy Hospital and I'm sure that their parents came in here at the time of the birth or whatever, their relatives, and, and uh, they utilized this chapel for what it was worth, as to pray for the sick and, and the injured. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, Local 23 News.